was epic. I feel like yeah. that's the situation. Yeah, yeah. So look, Discovery Channel came to me uh, um, in January, and they said, "Hey, if if uh, if we if we drop you off in a city, and uh, you only had a hundred dollars to your name, you can't you cannot use your name." <laughs> So that's kind of crazy. Like you got a hundred dollars to your name, but you can't use your name. Mm -hmm. So that added a different deal. Um, you can't use any of your contacts. Let me, oh, so, you can't use any of your contacts. Uh, and what, what what are the other rules? You only have 90 days and you got to turn it into a million dollars. You know, I never asked where they were going to send me. Like I never asked the question. They they asked me that today. They're like, dude, why why didn't you ask where it was going to be? I'm like, because it don't matter. Mm. As long as they speak English, I'm like, you guys, you gonna drop me off someplace where where they speak English? Because I have to be able to talk to people. Mm -hmm. And they're like, they're like, that's all you have to. That's all you're worried about, dude. As long as they speak English, and I understand the games, the the, the rules of the game, I can't use my name. They said, also, if you do business with somebody that finds out who you are, you can't use that. Mm. So I had to shave my head. You know, I got this beautiful head of hair right here, man. Mm -hmm. And I had to shave that. I grew out a beard. Uh, I flew to a place called Pueblo, Colorado. I've never been there before. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was late February. It was 15 degrees. All I could bring with me was one bag and... Uh, had no place to sleep. I got off my Gulf Stream. We parked my Gulf Stream two hours from Pueblo, and I drove a piece of shit truck into Pueblo. The average income of a household in Pueblo is twenty four thousand mm. dollars. And dude, the the more the challenges lined up with my mission, and my mission is basically to prove to people that you don't need money to make money. Mm -hmm. And and you know where I'm at in my life today, I have a huge like probably 40% of the people that follow me are, are uh, black kids under 30 years old. Mm -hmm. Pe people look at my, 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 met my metrics and my demographics and my followers. And they're like, dude, why, why do, why do, why does this particular demographic gravitate to you? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I think once people really hear my message, they see that I didn't come up with, I didn't have anything. Mm -hmm. And I had a single mother, very similar to a lot of y young black kids single mother, dad wasn't there, uh, don't have anything to start. But there's a big dream going on, dude. There's this giant dream. Like, look at my growth conference. Every year I have my growth conference, we laugh over here. They're like, when are we going to get some exciting white people at our growth conference? And I'm like, they're not that exciting. <laughs> you know, I mean, I had Kevin Hart last year, uh, uh, Floyd Mayweather. Like, the talent just goes off the hooks, dude. Once a guy can push through. Mm. And, and so um, they dropped me off in Pueblo. I said, hey, a couple things. I need to meet the, the, the president of Discovery Channel. That was part of the deal. Number two, I'm going for $10 million, not $1 million. Mm -hmm. Number three, I'm going to do it in 60 days, not 90 days. Who needs 90 <laughs> days? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just started throwing my spreak and my, 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 my flex around. And I said, the last thing is, if I don't do it, and I pulled out four bags from the bank. They're big bags. They're big uh, Ziploc bags. I did a video on this, and, and it was uh, $1 million. Mm. Uh, and I said, if I don't do it, I'll pay Discovery a $1 million, and I'll buy a new car for all the crew. Mm. So the reason I did all that, it was not just a brag thing. It was to put myself on the hook so deep. Yeah, yeah. Accountability. You know, yeah, credibility, account accountability. My mom died when I was uh, about 10 years ago. My mom was a huge hook for me. And so, like, there's a lot of things I've done in my life for my mom. Mm. And, and so now I have to make these big, giant public claims, which is a little trick I use, uh, that put me on the hook. Mm -hmm. That's dope. Man, listen, so wh when, when does the show come out again? Uh, tonight, two hours tonight. Uh, two hours tonight, and then every Wednesday night for twelve weeks. Wow! So how many how many episodes is it? Like how many is it? Like a total, a total of twelve. Oh, 12. Oh, yeah, twelve weeks. Twelve. Oh, duh. Okay. Oh yeah, dude. I mean, I can't make I can't make a million dollars in one night. Like. Okay, that's fire, man. So you're gonna follow me. You're gonna follow me through all the problems. Yeah. Deals falling apart. 
uh, people that don't want me to come in their business. I'm eating beans and rice. Like I'm eating quinoa, quinoa because I could get it free. Uh, I was vegan, and it's very. I, I got. I went vegan before this thing, and then you know you don't you don't want to be broke and a vegan. Yeah, <laughs> shit don't work. <laughs> yeah. So, so, which, so anyway, which, I, I, I'm really excited about. I think that this what I'm what I've done. I believe it's going to be a case study for schools, mm -hmm. high schools, minority schools, inner city schools, to, 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 to knock this thing off that this idea that you got to have something to get something. Mm -hmm. It's just not true. Uh, because every unfairness that people use every day uh, to, to hold them down, I, I end up crashing. Mm. That's dope, man. Yeah. But everybody asks in what channel. So it's on the Discovery Channel tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern time zone, which is a couple hours from now, a uh, few hours from now. So make sure you guys tune in. Last thing before we jump off, what was the hardest thing? Because I, took, I heard you cry. It was real emotional for you. What was the number one hardest thing for all of this stuff that happened when you went through this transition? Well, there wasn't one thing that was the hardest, but be, being away from my kids, I told my kids I'd have them out in a week. I have a 12 year old and a 10 year old. And I know everybody says their kids mean everything, but my dad, my dad never got to spend any time with me. And uh, he died when I was 10. I mean, I really never knew my dad. Yeah. And because even even the first 10 years before he died, he just wasn't there. Like he, he was at work. Mm -hmm. And he, he wasn't like dodging the kids, dude. He was doing what he had to do. And so, uh, unfortunately, in this show, because of where I went and the conditions I was under, and unfortunately, no money, I could not put my kids in that situation. Wow. So between me and the audience, you guys that are watching right now, that is a little bit of an unfair advantage I had in the, because most of you wouldn't have that choice. You have to bring your kids. Yeah. And so, uh, but dude, it hurt. Like every day I wasn't there with them. That hurt. There, there was also psychologically, this was, uh, I, I don't know how the other people did, did this. There's two other people they follow around, but you know, it, it, nothing, nothing, nothing is a, for me, I'm all in or I'm not in. Mm -hmm. and, and so for me, this became the only thing in my life for, for 90 days. And then COVID hit. And then I got sick twice. And then I got COVID positive once and sick. Wow. Then I got quarantined. You know, I got everything but arrested. Wow. Well, can't wait. 8 p.m. tonight, Eastern Time Zone, Undercover Billionaire, Mr. Grant Cardone himself. Amazing. Any last words before we jump No, off? man, look, I just want to do some more stuff with you. And, and, and you're a great, awesome, awesome guy. And I can just, t you know, I, I just met you on the clubhouse thing and, and just see the way you operate. And uh, you're a legit dude. And, and I'd like to do more things with you. All right. Much love, Grant. You already know. You're Uncle D. I ain't going nowhere no time soon no more. I'm stuck. I'm in your life forever. Much Let's love. Congrats. Appreciate you. Brother appreciate, appreciate you, man.